been a heart-wrenching year for our region's small businesses, but with Valentine's Day this weekend, many are ready to spread the love to make sure you have the perfect gift for that special someone. Tonight, News 8's Abby Alford plays matchmaker and shows us some of the, of the incredible locally owned shops that you can choose from. When we shop local, we're not only sharing the love for our small businesses, especially those who may be struggling during the pandemic, but we're gifting something that's locally crafted and unique for our special Valentine. Strolling to Nat Sweets and Santee and the smell of handmade baked sugar cookies fills the air. They're soft, they're beautiful, and they're baked fresh daily. From the unique wall of locally written greeting cards to custom desserts, owner Natasha Wren says that starting on Friday, you can make Nat Sweets your locally owned one-stop shop ahead of Valentine's Day, Sunday, February 14th. You grab a cards, candies, chocolates, or you can kind of assemble your own gift box. Wren says that she opened the brick and mortar store off of Magnolia near the omelet factory in 2019. Customers can't get enough. I keep coming back because the stuff is super, super yummy and amazing. But if you're in the mood for something a little more healthy but still satisfies your sweet tooth, Maya's cookies will melt your gourmet vegan heart. I really do pour all my heart and soul into these cookies. Owner Maya Matson says that after the Black Lives Matter movement, business warmed up. She went from 20 online orders a day to 3,000 overnight and turned the lobby of her Grantville bakery into a storefront. This weekend, you can make your cookie pick up an Instagrammable moment with their free Valentine's photo booth. We share the love. Cookies make people happy, and who doesn't love a cute photo on Valentine's Day? So like a raw heart, just put it in the refrigerator. Okay. Now don't forget to stop and smell the roses at the Singing Florist in Chula Vista's 3rd Avenue Village. So it's not just about love, it's about friendship too. Owner Myra Spilling okay. says that as a wedding floor, she lost a lot of business, but with city and federal grants, she's been able to arrange for new and local customers. I'm very grateful, uh, especially to the community because they haven't left me. And it's that local support that's helping our small businesses share the love. We just want to be able to help each other and stay open. For more information about the small businesses featured in our Valentine story, just go to our website at cbs8.com.